Well, good morning, Calvary. So good to have you here. As we get started this morning, I want to ask you a question, and that is, who was influential in you learning something significant in your life? Who taught you something important? See, I think we can look back at many individuals that teach us. I can think back on things that my parents instilled in me and the countless lessons that they taught. But beyond that, I can also think about the people who helped me learn significant things about my faith. I think about my former youth pastor who weekly taught the Bible to me and helped me grow in my walk with the Lord. I can think about Phil, one of my small group leaders and youth group who modeled what it looked like to be a godly man, husband, and father to me. I can think about Jeremy, another small group leader I had who shared life with me and showed me how to tangibly live out my faith on a regular basis and also taught me how to see and recognize the influences that existed in my world and evaluate those. I could go on with others, but I bring this up because as Paul is writing to the, to the, the, the Colossian church here, he's greeting them and touching base with them and encouraging them about their faith. And he says this to them. He says, you've learned it from Epaphras, our dear fellow servant, who is a faithful minister in Christ on our behalf, who also told us of your love in the Spirit. See, Paul here acknowledges the fact that their faith is a direct result of a guy named Epaphras and his ministry to this church. They learned it from him, which means he was actively and intentionally teaching it to them. His efforts to intentionally model and teach them faith had a ripple effect in this church. And for us today, that same reality exists. We all have the ability to model our faith and be intentional to pass that down to the next generation of Christ followers. So how are you doing that? How are you passing down your faith? See, if you have family at home, if you have children especially, this is the first place to start. So if that is the case, are you modeling consistent faith and character for them? Are you discussing spiritual matters with your children? And the same question applies if you have grandchildren around you. But also, how are you doing this beyond your household? Are you sharing the truth of Jesus with your friends and your coworkers? What about within the church? See, we have all kinds of opportunities for you to be those people who mentor and serve the next generation of children or teenagers. See, I said I shared two individuals who were incredibly influential in my teen years, and they're both volunteers in our youth group. They weren't perfect, they didn't have a Bible degree, but what they did have is a love for Jesus and a desire to see me as a teenage guy love Jesus as well. So wherever you are called, let me encourage you to be faithful with the message of hope in Jesus that God has given you. And the way that we are faithful is to share it and pass it down to others. So today, who can you share the message of hope with Jesus today? We'll see you next time, Calvary.